when I give you a report, you can't say go put that person in the bed before you leave. Uh, no. Listen. Oh, I got a headache. I got a headache. You work in too many different travel jobs then. Let me break it down. When you get this contract and you got different travel companies at the same facilities, and whatever shift that you work, especially from second and third, and if that client does not want to go to bed yet, but one third should have put them in bed at two o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to be there. I will be at home already. See, my shift ends already at 11 o'clock. Okay? You can't get mad because a client don't want to go to bed right away. Because when you get in to clock in, because all you want to do is just sit and sleep. Baby, I did majority of your work already. As it is. See, I pass out your linen. I pass out your water. I even put bass in the garbage. That first shift didn't do, so I get everything. And it's bags, like the rolls of the bags in each garbage. Now, I just pull two and put them in there, a whole roll on my assignment, because I know you work right behind me. And make it so bad, I make sure all my linen is, everybody is good. I change my people. But this particular person is, you cannot get mad if that resident do not want to go to bed at 9.30 or at 10.30. That resident have a right. You should know that already. We can't make residents go to bed. If they don't want to go to bed, they don't have to go to bed. If they want to sit in their chair and sleep, that's all. All that I can do is change you and put you back in that chair or put you in your recliner. That's it. I cannot dress you, put you in your wheelchair, or put you in your client and give you a blanket. And whatever time that that client wanted to go to bed, that's for you, third shift, to put that person in the bed. Since I've been on this travel contract, I bump heads twice with a different travel company. One, I think I know dump my linen if I'm still doing my rounds. Two, you do not need to give me the information or to the FYI or to remind me. I ain't slow. I've been in this field for 28 years. I know I look young. I know. But guess what? I'm about to have a birthday Friday. But damn. And then what's the other one? I know the residents don't want to go to bed. And I'm not going to make that residents go to bed. You can put them in bed. Since you want to talk crazy, you can put them in bed. Them too. Because they are night lighty. And two, see if I put them in bed already and they got back up, I'm not going to make them go back to bed. It's against their rights. They have a right to say no. They have a right to stay up. They have a right to say yes. They can refuse medication. They can refuse cares. You don't know their rights. But yes, I came in and bump heads with another travel company that I work with. I had to woosa. Not today. So you think you're supposed to know everything? But baby, you just met the right one. So I'm going to be a little bit professional and then tell you off in the good smile that I am. But yes, don't let nobody tell you how to do your job. I know what it's to do. We both travel agency. You do not need to tell me what to do. I got this. Trust me. Like I said before. Because the residents don't want to go to bed. Don't have to. See, when I come in, I'm giving you a report. That how my shift was. And that lady said, them two stood up because they don't want to go to bed yet. But they've been cleaned up already. But they watch the movies. We cannot force them. 
and I'm not. And I won't. You can deal with that. And the nurse already know. So, you just want to sleep on your shift, baby? It ain't going to happen. Not at all. Talk to y'all later.